I needed to get a mag well for my Glock. Let me show you the Glock's clear. No magazine here. Magazine's empty. No ammunition in the area. I, I've done a lot of upgrades to my Glock. This is the Gen 5, the Glock 17, the MOS version. Okay. And you can watch the other videos and see all the other things I've done to it. Magwell, last thing I was looking for here. So this is a Zev, ZEV technology. Uh, let me zoom in there so you guys can see. Let's so turn this over again. See which one I got there. So this one fits the Glock, the Gen 5 Glock, the 17 and the 34 compatible. And I just want to do a quick install here. So it pops open and you get your, move that box out of the way here, well, right in the way. All right, so you get your mag well. Just makes it a little bit larger here, a little easier to slide your magazines in it. It came with the Allen wrench and the screw. I already popped it out. Really easy to install here. So this piece right here, the taller piece, is going to fit right in the back of the firearm there in that little opening. So what you do is set the front end first. So snap your front end and then just tilt it to the back. Get the front end and push the back end. Snaps right in. So we got it right on there. Gives me a little extra space. And then right here in the back, all we're going to do is take the screw. There's one hole in the back. We're going to insert it in that hole and screw it down. All right, now we are just going to snug it down. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our magazine. I'm just leaving the hex head in there. We're going to slide our magazine in, hit our mag well, let it drop free. The issue that I had, I was messing with a little bit earlier, issue I had if you tighten this screw up too much right here, it was bowing out the inside of the gun and dragging on the mag well. So I just want to tighten it down a little bit, drop my magazine in, make sure my mag well, make sure my magazine's not dragging at all on it. I think I can get a little bit snugger than that. Okay, that feels like it's good and tight. So no drag on that magazine. So make sure that thing falls really good out of the gun. And you can see it on the firearm there, the mag well. And you can see the standard base plate. This is an aluminum base plate, but it's the same size as the factory base plate. Nice and flush. There's enough room you can get your finger there if you need to come in from the front. They've still got a hole in the back here, so if you want to put a tether or something on the firearm, it seems to be good and secure on the gun. Fits on there really well. Uh, you can see when I grip it there where my fingers go right above it. So it actually, I think it's going to help you hang on to the gun a little bit better because I can feel it here, here, and when I throw my support hand on the firearm, I'm catching it right across here also. And makes it a little bit easier to find the mag well. So drop your magazine in. Dumps out really good. It's not dragging, catching, or anything. It's actually a really good fit. Fits on there really nice. Looks good on the inside. Let's see if we can turn it around here and let you guys look at it. So you can see it just flares open there a little bit. Doesn't really add any added length to the firearm this way because it's flush with the bottom of the magazine, okay? So it's not gonna make your firearm any longer this way if you're worried about it fitting in one of the boxes for like IDPA, something like that, still gonna fit right inside there. Was an easy installation, didn't take but a minute to put on. Haven't actually fired the gun with it on there yet. Be headed to do that tomorrow. But I just wanted to let you guys take a quick peek at it and see it actually on the firearm. So remember guys, be safe, be a responsible gun owner, 
buy a gun lock, gun safe lock box, find a way to secure your firearm, lock it up from unauthorized people, especially children. We want to prevent accidents. Take care, everybody.